Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Snowball giving you another snowcast and I would like to give a second game out for Sen and Softball as you can see right here. I just casted a game before this. If you haven't checked that out, please feel free to check that out. It's a great, fantastic game. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's a really good game. So go ahead and check that out and I've got another game against these very two fantastic players. I would like to give a shout out to SC2 replays.com they have recently been kind enough to sponsor me on their webpage so feel free to check that out it's a good source for VODs and casts of players who you may, players you know and players you may not have heard of before feel free go to the website check them out they're great people and they have a lot of very high quality casts so go ahead check them out they are awesome and yes so we'll go ahead right go go into the game. We've got Softball here in the top right from the Rush clan, nice Taiwanese clan, building a supply depot at his front to wall off at the beginning. We've got Sen just going with his overlord. What is he doing right now? Looks like he is probably I really don't know what he's doing right now actually. He's got 15 food. It looks like he may go for a either a 15 Yep, here comes the 15 hatchery build. He's going to build his hatchery first down here. And this is on a GSL map, another GSL map, a Crossfire. If you haven't seen the GSL or the GSL maps, I suggest you check them out. They're a nice variety from the original Blizzard maps. And here's another one. As you can see, it is, it looks, right now, it looks fairly similar to Jungle Basin, but it's a lot bigger and is a lot safer expansions instead of having this expansion be normally it'd be somewhere around here on Jungle Basin. It's actually down here. So, and also it's bigger. So those are the two main differences between the maps and we've got Orbital Command going down and gas, everything easy peasy breezy and beautiful from the Terran side. We've got Sen down here in the bottom. He's getting his hatchery going, his spawning pools being built, so he's getting his base all nice and set up, and everything so far just looks completely normal, what you would expect from every opening, and we've got Sen stealing the gas right now, which this, what you can do is you can steal someone's gas, but you have to have a plan if you're stealing someone's gas. See, stealing the gas will stop the turn player from really teching. And he'll have to either make a lot more marines. You see, he has a factory going down. So Sen knows his play style. And he was like, well, if the factory is going down, he won't be able to take as much gas. Therefore, he won't be able to have like siege tanks, Thors, very much of that early on. So it forces the Terran player down the path of either making a lot of marines and expanding or just making a bigger army and doing a one base push with Hellions and marines. So he's doing that in order to force the refinery to go down and it looks like it's not really affecting softball at all i mean yes Sen did get some scouting information and it cost 25 minerals to pop down the extractor so no big deal and softball it just looks like he didn't want that second extractor he's going to go for the expansion instead because he has the mineral build up because he couldn't get the second that quickly and we've got a little push going out for softball he's going to go down to the expansion see what damage he can do I see a queen, and in the production we've got four zerglings, so this won't do too much. The bunker's going on the high ground. He's going to try to go for a contain here. We've got a second queen, actually, and a third queen underway. So these queens will provide a lot of protection, a lot of safety for Sen. They'll let him spread the creep, and also they are tanks. Like, I wouldn't believe for 150 minerals, you get 175 life in this guys. And then if you get up to 50 energy, you can replenish up to 125 with transfuse. So they are very defensive and very powerful. You can see he's spreading the creep right now. The creep, what it does is it lets the Zerglings and especially the Queens move faster. And also, it stops the Terran player from building buildings there. So here come the Hellions, because... We have a reactor Hellion coming, reactor factory coming down, pardon me. And the Hellions, it looks like they'll be warded off by these queens, the defensive powerhouses that are the queens. We got one on the ramp, so he can't go up the ramp. And then the other one's just poking down, laying creep tumors wherever he can. Or she can, because it's a queen. And Softball does have his expansion done. He has not turned it into an old game yet. I imagine he will do so very soon. Here we've got the Terran going into the base. 
and send, runs all of his drones into the corner. Now this could be a double-edged sword. Beautiful transfusion like that. Running, running your drones away, depending on how many Hellions you see, can be a double-edged sword. If you can get them away safely, you won't lose any, or very, very little. But if the Hellions catch up to your workers, they can actually fry in a line because when you pull away your workers, you pull them away in a small line group. And that causes the the Hellion lines to just line up perfectly with it and they just zap the heck out of your workers and you lose all your workers. So we've got some Marauder production and stem going down. Looks like we'll be seeing a nice Hellion Marauder push, which is a very nice strategy that just came up, uh, I think, a couple weeks ago at for uh, Terran vs. Zerg. Some people consider it an all-in, especially if you do this many on one base, but we do have a second base going down for softball, and he's just going to go ahead and work with that. Um, the reactor Hellions with the Marauders pretty much take out anything before anything that's not a Mutalisk early game for Zerg. So if we look in the production tab, we've got just drones going down 4 cent. His drones did get pulled up from you know the Hellion harass and he's bringing them back down now so we've got a roach warren some roaches which the roaches will not do very well against three racks of stem marauders hopefully we're going to see if we get more queens coming out the queens could actually be a big help against this kind of build for all the transfuses that they can give as well as just being there to lay more damage because they do have two attacks more damage so it's not bad damage and here comes the marauder Hellion push uh, this push looks very scary. We've got, you know, five roaches to hold off all of these marauders. Marauders are just going to tear up these roaches like the butter. And you see where he goes after this. We've got three queens defending the base. And it's not looking too good for Sen. Softball could have a very good time. Sen's just going to GG out of this. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the, the extractor trick forcing Softball into getting an early expansion, which then... As Sen felt like he was safe to macro up, we had Softball come in with the three racks Marauder with the Hellion push before he could get up his lair and get to Mutalisks. So that was a very good timing by Softball. Just a, He knew that very well what to do and when to do it. So he just went straight up through the middle and attacked him. Then. There's not really much else you can say. Thank you, guys. Uh, Please subscribe to my cast. Every every time someone subscribes, I get a chance to do more and more. So you subscribe. I'll do more casts. I'll make that a deal with you. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. This is Snowball giving you another snowcast. And thanks again for watching, guys.